name is Dylan. I'm with the RL Detman Company. Uh, we're pump manufacturer representative for Bell and Gasset Pumps. We service Michigan and Northern Ohio. And today we're going to be demonstrating uh, what happens when your pump runs out on the end of its curve. Here we've got a condensate tank, our pump, a pressure gauge, a circuit setter, and boiler control to start and stop the unit. We're going to be measuring the amps with an amp probe. All right, now we're going to be turning the unit on and we're going to watch our amp draw go up as the pump runs out on the end of the curve. This pump, this is a typical pump curve for this pump here. And this is where we want to run. And as it runs out to the end of the curve, we're running off to the right here and that's where it's not running so hot. This is where we're going to be monitoring our amp draw from the pump. As I turn this on, our circuit setter is set and we're going to watch the amp draw. And right now, our amp draw is right at full load amps. And as we open our circuit setter, we're going to watch the amp draw increase to where our motor is now overloaded and our pump is cavitating and not running as it should. We can watch our gauge drop as pressure drops. And now, as I close this circuit setter, our amp draws are going to come down, cavitation will decrease, and our pressure will go up on our pressure gauge. And now we're running below nameplate amps, our motor is protected, and we're running back up on the curve where the pump should be running. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you understand how the pump runs out on the end of its curve. And if you have any more questions, please contact us at the RL Depot.